We do have Fox 59 Zach Myers. He is out on the roads right now, working for us around Indianapolis right now, checking on conditions for you. Zach, you are driving, I understand, around 465. How is it looking out there? Right now, we're still in one of the parts of the city that's still seeing all rain. We uh, made our way around the loop. Uh, we're coming up now, about to get back onto 465, sort of on the south uh, west side of the city. So, uh, Brian can connect, correct me if I'm wrong, but as we head up north uh, to that northwest corner, we're expecting to hit that uh, sort of band of sleet first and then the changeover to snow. Now, we can tell you that INDOT has been telling us all day long, very plainly, don't expect the roads around. Indianapolis to be in good shape tonight. Uh, they spent most of the day waiting basically to start treating the roads because they just can't put down salt while it's raining. It'll just wash it off the pavement. So they've been waiting for the temperatures to drop to that freezing mark and see the rain start to change over to snow. Uh, they were hoping to start salting a little before rush hour tonight, this evening. So even so, they're warning that some of the early salt that they put down will still get washed away. So anybody out on the roads uh, tonight will be dealing with wet pavement first and then turning to ice and then fast accumulating snow and don't forget the high winds. Probably the worst conditions for plowing and for clearing the roads that you could ever see in a winter storm all at once together. Yeah, so keep in mind now that those plow routes, the routes that they go on, uh, some of them can uh, take about two to three hours for a driver to cover. So if we're looking at some point at uh, about an inch of snow per hour, a driver could start on their route, and by the time they get back around to the start again, there's a couple new uh, fresh inches of snow on the ground. That'll be later on into the storm. So again, they've got 50 drivers around Indianapolis working around the clock, and 12-hour shifts. They expect that to last uh, well into Friday, maybe mid midday Friday. Even after the snow stops, they have to spend time continuing to clear the roadway. So in the meantime, NDOT and other state officials are just asking everyone to just please stay off the roadways if that's possible for you. We'll keep checking on this and see you again uh, at about uh, 6 o'clock. Okay.